set the pause run switch to pause. Turn the power switch on the back right on. Confirm that the e-stop is in the engaged position. Set the ratio selector to high. This is the setting used with the one inch standard pressure cell only. This high is not used with the mini cell. Set the pause run switch to run. You will see the bottom platen moves everything upwards. Check that the piston top is in the recess at the top platen. Adjust the pressure increase knob clockwise until the pressure gauge reaches the desired value. For this example, run the target is 1280 PSIG. Once the target pressure is reached, or held at a pressure for a few seconds or minutes, depending on the protocol, the samples can be released from the standard pressure cell. Slightly turn the sample valve assembly counterclockwise to allow the sample to exit the sample outlet tube. Direct the sample dripping out towards the collection beaker. We need to keep the pressure above 1,000 and give the hydraulic pump a chance to catch up. So we gently turn the valve and keep the PSI above 1,000 to ensure lysing. Adjust the valve assembly so the flow rate is about 10 to 15 drops per minute. Keep watching the piston stop marking. When the stop line reaches the cell body, switch to pause. Though there is an internal cutoff safety switch, the user must be ready to shut the system off. The run is completed. Cells can be loaded into the standard pressure cell by putting the flexible tubing into a beaker or a tube, turning the machine's ratio selector to down, and opening the valve several turns. Turning the machine to run, the cells are aspirated into the standard pressure cell. Afterwards, turn the handle clockwise to close the valve. 